Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Mr. Brundage. Yes. Ma uh, Mrs. Kamara. Yes. Good. 6-0. We're almost done. The borough manager's report. My report is only going to be very brief because mo most of it was Good. touched on everything. I am requesting, since council did not authorize the mayor to conduct an investigation, I am requesting council think about this and answer the attorney general as to where the $33,000 in taxpayer funds went. The fire company must give a financial accounting for everything spent for the relief monies to the borough. We have not had that. I have requested that. We have not had it. We have been contacted by numerous vendors whom they owe money to. We were almost had to pay a gas bill for personal gasoline that is not to be paid. Fire trucks don't take gasoline. Okay? Fire trucks don't take gasoline. We had there was a fire company member that ordered sea rations to his home in the amount of twelve hundred dollars in the name of Colwyn Borough Fire Company. We've had a vehicle that we insure driven recklessly by the chief. I have witnessed him several times lay wheels, <laughs> go through stop signs in a fit of rage. We have had police calls outside of the fire company with fights among members and family members. We have tons and tons of complaints from neighbors, not just the people next door, because of because there were yelling and screaming and cursing till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And the latest incident, we had a borough-owned vehicle insured by Colin Burrow given to a 19-year-old kid without authorization, without knowledge. I said 19. I never said, I never said 15. 19. We were first told it was traded to Holmes Fire Company after it was traded. We found out that wasn't true. Then we were told that it was given to a guy who really likes Chevys without authorization. And the last thing that I discovered, it was given to John Corcoran of Ridgeway Avenue in Glen Olden, who was just arrested for three arsons in Darby Township and in Fallcroft. And one of them was committed during the time period that our vehicle was missing for over a month. So we don't know if whether it was commissioned in a crime or not. So if you don't want to be responsible and revote and suspend Paul, them until an investigation right. is that's completed, I am so telling you, agenda. I am notifying our insurance yeah. company, and this borough will be liable because you have been duly warned. About what, Paul? Uh, there are possible irregularities going on, Motions and an investigation needs to man. commence. Report, and then if nothing on. is found, then you redesignate yeah, them. Sorry, but during this time, sorry, if someone gets injured sorry, or hurt, Colin Barrow is personally liable. Oh, and Colin council people who vote can be surcharged personally and lose their right. homes for making such a vote. Just a warning. I'll second we, that motion. We didn't, we didn't make a motion to approve the bills. I forgot about I'll that. I'll second it. Just a warning. Have you seen the bill? Bills are right there. Hey, everyone has seen them. You've seen them. He's seen them. Not going to approve the bills. Are you going to make a motion? Is someone going to make a motion to pay the bills? Is somebody going to make a motion and shut your mouth? Mrs. Van Arken. Mrs. Van Arken. I have a motion. I have a question. Go ahead. I want to know why, since Paula knows how to use QuickBooks, she can't make a printout of what bills were paid this month so we can see it. Not even those were filed. I haven't seen any bills since June, so I don't know. Is your vote I no? Yes, okay, thank you. We're all paid, Mike. Ms. Madam President? No. 
Mr. Lesher. Yeah, I got to pay the bills. I'm going to go. Mr. Muser. Yes, pay the bills. Mr. Brundage. Yes. I'm more on to do it. Mrs. Kamara. That bit of bill, but we have to, we have to make it. First of all, the motion to pay the bills was not on the floor. It was the motion to accept her report. Okay, motion to accept the report. I'm accepting Paul's report. I mean, Paul is man on the dag on Mike, and you need to run the dag on me because you keep putting motions on the floor. Not the girls. They made motions. We got to separate. That's why Mark is questioning. So if the motion is to approve the borough manager's report, Mrs. Van Alken. I say no. No, Madam President. No, Mr. Lesher. Yeah. Mr. Muser, yes, Mr. Mr. Brundage, yes. Mrs. Camara, to approve my report. The manager's report. There you go. Or two. Okay. Now you're going to re-vote on the bills, or are you going to take nah, the vote that you just that. did? Why don't you tell everybody what the hell is going on? We got more done tonight than yeah. we ever yeah. got we done. We got more done this year than we did in January. I don't know who elected you to make decisions. Girls, Nobody elected girls. me to make Mount decisions. Road. You hired me Mount to be Mount the Mount borough manager, and that's what I did. Well, guess what? That's you do a whole lot more than the borough manager. You're the eighth council person that no one knows about. Go ahead, Madam President. As far as the bills go, I'm not even going to put that motion on the floor. Can we get a public comment? But I do need to address Mrs. Muser. Mrs. No, 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 no. I had a minute. Dirt doing it, too. I know. All right. Come on, guys. We're almost done. Mrs. Muser, I'm not yelling at you. I'm telling you I have information that you asked for last meeting that you wanted every council person that voted to pay Ms. Prayer stipend. Those people were Paul Muser, Jesse Brundage, Dan Rutland, and Paula Brown signed the check. Which one, the last one? The one that you wanted all council members that... I said the one in August. I just gave you all the people that signed that check. Your husband, Jesse Brundage, Dan Rutland, and Paula Brown signed for the $125 stipend. Four people, four people didn't sign. Four people didn't sign. All right, guys, all right, let's move on. Come on. Hey, this is lower than the Sixers game. That's right. <laughs> Do you you guys need the solicitor or not? Yes, I do. He's getting paid to be here. All right. I'll make a motion for adjournment. No, we're there. No, let him, get him, get him a chance to speak. To solicitor. First of all, you have to get public conduct. It's too many yeah, presidents. Give him a chance here. to speak. Right. Too many Indians and not enough chiefs. Madam President, can I have a sign? Yes, you can. Oh, yes, you can. Go ahead. 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 Go
to to a financial statement you are. on your fire. You gotta do that. Why? Put it in writing, you are. Ms. Brown. You gotta do that, Ben. No, I yes, never. Yes, you do. It comes from fire tax. Put I told you, out. and you said yes. we never had to do that before. Can I ask a question to you, Miss yeah. Betty? I don't get it. Um, did anyone give you anything in writing? No, about your financial no, statement. If they gave it to me, in does writing. any Miss Brown? Do you have proof that you gave her? Anything? She knows I did. No, she no, knows did. I did you because you said to me we never had to do that before, and I told you it's required. If you want in writing, you'll get in writing. Maybe we can cut through it all. The John, the fire company, they have all their bills paid. I got a good one. And there was a question raised about that. Maybe the fire company by the next workshop meeting can provide an accounting of there all of there the dollars. There you go. And John, can I, John, can I, make, can I was going to suggest, can I make a John, I was going to suggest the fire company officials, the finance chairman here, yeah, yeah, okay. and the fire manager and the council president to sit down on a quarterly They need basis. to put it in writing. They have and to submit a budget. I told you about a budget. Right. You have to submit a budget. You have to submit a financial accounting of the, of all, every dollar that we've given you, and and if you give them thirty three thousand dollars. Matter of fact, I'm going yeah, to say no Station 92 in writing what they need to give to the borough with their finances. She will get that. That needs to be in writing. She will get that. And I'm going to ask you if it can be certified mail so, or email so we have a record of that you gave it to them. Yeah, and then we're going to sit down. We can make a date. Where you we don't have to spend any money Betty, put it go. in the email. It's fine. Go. It's fine. Betty, you ready? ready? Email is fine. Back Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Whenever it's convenient for all you. There you go. There you go. There you go. And Miss Salini, when you get the email and when you comply, you can you please see me in on that? I will see you yeah. everybody. There you go. Your your problem. So. Thank you. And then, then, then we can submit that. Is right there any more public comment? No public comment. I want to go. the fire department? You're the Miss. I'm sorry. Come on, honey. It's been rectified. That's it's rectified. They, they, you guys are all fine. Council is all fine with the fire department. Barrow manager. Y'all heard boss. Barrow manager. Why are What's the problem with the fire? I have a responsibility to the borough of Cowin and to the residents of Cowin. And my responsibility is to ensure the effectiveness and make sure that all contracts and everything for the borough runs smoothly. I do my job and I do it well. I'm sorry. And my job, my job is to certify to the state of Pennsylvania and the Auditor General that you have taken our tax money and relief money and have spent it accordingly.